As you can see, I have a custom skin in Power World. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get custom skins for this popular game because getting custom skins shouldn't be hard. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Step number one to using custom skins in Power World is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to do this, right? How to add custom skins. This is an in-depth guide that we try to make it as simple as possible to follow along. However, if you don't want to follow along the guide, it's OK. All you have to do once you're here in the guide is to scroll down and click where it says Nexus Mods. That is going to redirect you to the Nexus Mod website. In here, we're going to change where it says Refine Results. Go ahead and click on that arrow and click where it says Characters. We want to filter the search to only show characters, right? To only show the skins. Now, the amount of skins that you have in here might be limited as of now because Power World is too much of a recent game. So you don't have that many skins, you know, to add to the game right now. In the future, this is definitely going to change and the community is going to keep making a lot of mods. Another option that you have to get other custom skins is to instead of using Nexus mods to use CurseForge. If you come here to our written guide and you scroll down to this um, paragraph in here, you click on CurseForge and you could also search this app. You could also type CurseForge.com. You can see that there's other custom skins in here. That's another option. However, for this guide, we're going to be using the Nexus mod page, right? Once in here, find the skin that you like. Some of the skins in here are going to change NPCs of the game. Like, for example, the Stormtrooper here is going to replace the PIDF guard with the Stormtrooper. And some other uh, skins in here are going to replace your character, right? We're going to download right now one for our own character. Let's find one that we like. And I, I want to download, I don't know, this one. Play as Victor. Let's go ahead and download this one. I don't know where this character is from, from a movie or a game. You guys could let me know down in the comment sections. But yeah, once you found the skin that you like, go ahead and click on it. And the first thing we're going to do is read the description okay it's very important that we always read the description because the description is going to let us know where we are going to add this file once we download it as you can see just by taking a quick look it says that we need to drop this file the pack file that we're about to download into the content packs and then the mods folder that is going to be located within that packs folder i'm going to show you how to find those folders real quick but always read the description of the file that you're downloading because some of them might require you to drop them into the packs folder and some others might be dropped into the mods folder. But you don't have to be worried about having to install anything extra because as these are cosmetic changes, all it requires is to drop a pack into a folder. You don't have to install any other software. To download the skin using the Nexus page website, you have to click where it says download right here on the top right. And for me, it says manual download, but for you guys, it's going to say something like download and then you might have to sign in into the Nexus website. But for me, it lets me download it already because I'm already logging. But like I said, for you guys, you might have to log into the Nexus mod website and then you could download the skin for free by clicking where it says a slow download. And after a couple seconds, you will have the file downloaded. By the way, guys, if you've been trying to create a server for Power World and you've been struggling, don't worry because Apex Hosting got you covered. If you use the first link in the description, not only would you get all these advantages, not only would you get a server that goes instantly online, a server that is hosted completely remote so you don't have to put your IP address at risk, you don't have to put your computer hardware at risk, and your friends could join without any issues, you will also get 25% off your first server just by using that first link in the description. So I'm going to leave that link in there for you guys in case you want to set up a server where you could add your own mods and do anything you want because it's your server. Okay. Once that's said, let's keep going with the tutorial. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that file into our desktop once we have it. And as you can see, I was already playing around with some other skins earlier in order to do our written guide and in order to uh, do this video for you guys. Anyways, we got that Victor skin right here. It is a 7Z file, which I could open with WinRAR. Now, lucky for me, I have WinRAR. Are you guys if you don't have WinRAR, you might have to download it. I'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to use WinRAR to open these type of files, those uh, press files, right? Anyways, once you downloaded the skin you want, it could be the Victor one or it could be any skin that you want. Go ahead and open the installation folder of your game. If you're using the Steam version of Power World and you want to open the installation folder, all you have to do is right click Power World, click where it says Manage and click Browse Local Files. If you're using the Game Pass version, it is a pretty similar process but you're going to do it through the Xbox launcher or the interface, you know, wherever you play your Xbox Game Pass games and just click on the settings and find the installation folder. Once you're here in the installation folder, go ahead and open your PAL folder and then your content folder. And in here, you're going to open the packs folder. Some mods, you will have to drop them into this folder, into the packs folder, and some other mods, you might have to drop them into the mods folder. For this case, we have to drop it into our mods folder. And I'm actually going to get rid of this other mod that I already had in here. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the Victor one in here. There we go. We have the Victor one in there. And yeah, always make sure you read the description. Some of the skins you're going to have to drop into here and some others you're going to have to drop into here. Always make sure you're dropping in a pack file, a dat pak file, and not the zip file that you download because then it's not going to work, right? And once you have the skin, where it's supposed to be always read the descriptions remember when i'm click play on your game either on the xbox game pass or on steam and let's go ahead and wait for this to open i'm going to try not to do any cuts in here 
for you guys to see that this is working. And if you're wondering what is that that is loading up there, that is Reshade. Reshade is a software that allows us to do custom um, enhancements and visual enhancements to the game. If you want to add Reshade, just go watch one of the videos that I posted in the past. Anyways, once we're in the game, let's go ahead and start a new world. Just so we could try out this new Victor skin, right? I, I really want to see the skin in game because I don't know where this skin is from. And I feel like a bunch of people are going to be mad in the comments saying like, hey, how come you don't know Victor, bro? Who are you? Right? Um, and we had the game crash. Let's go ahead and try and restart it. I'm not even going to cut this part out of the tutorial. I know some other people might cut this part out, but I'm actually going to leave it in and I restart the game. Why did the game crash? Well, the game recently has been crashing when you have the Unreal Engine 4 SS. For some reason, some mods make the game crash. You don't have to worry about that because, well, that's only if you're adding certain type of mods that you might be adding to the game. But for most people, you don't have to worry about any of that. Let's go ahead and try and launch the world again. And like I said, I'm going to leave that in the video. I'm not going to cut it out so you guys could see that, you know, it's normal for the game to crash sometimes. And I just want to make the guide as real as possible and as close as possible to reality, right? Everything doesn't always work out the first try. Now we're, we're here in the game. Let's go ahead and change the preset and see if we can find that Victor skin. Uh, there we go. It's a, it's a male skin. It's a little bit glitchy, as you can see with the hair. I guess if we change the skin, um, we go to face and we could make this. Yeah, we could make it go away by turning this guy into a bald person. There we go. As you can see, we now made it go away. And if we go back to presets, we could see the whole body in here. And let's go ahead and start the game. And I'm I'm pretty sure this Victor guy is a pretty popular character from somewhere. And I just I'm just you know living under a rock, and I don't know who he is. But you guys could let me know down in the comments. And as you can see. We now have a cool looking custom skin in Power World. I hope you guys also got your custom skins working. If you didn't, let me know down in the comments what's happening to you and hopefully me or somebody could help you out. And yeah, guys, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. It would really help the channel. Also, if you subscribe and as always, bye bye.